From Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Lance Lynn. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. Elvis Andrews stands in now and watches strike one. Clips the corner, and it's nothing in two. He goes down looking. Well, it's a nice job with the cutter right there. He didn't exactly catch the corner of the zone, but that's one of those where the late movement probably fooled the umpire a little bit. Those guys do not have an easy job. I thought it was a good take overall, and, you know, it's one of those things where you leave it in the umpire's hands, you just don't know what the answer is going to be, and that time he lost. And now, Zach Remillard. Strike one. Oh, and one. This one popped up, foul ground first base side, and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. That is third. The first base is number 25, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn now. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 oh, 1's the count. In the air, left field, Peralta drifts towards it. And that is that. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it, no score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And pitching in this game, Jose Ureña. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. We go to the bottom of the first. Mookie Betts will get us started. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The pitch. That one missing inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And now two balls and a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And the first oh, offering is not close. Betts aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike.
Urania with a move to first. And he's back safely. Here comes a pitch. Slice the other way and foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Thompson under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. That is good. The center fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here is J.D. Martinez. This guy with light tower power. Tapped in front of the plate. Now the throw to first on the run. And Martinez is out. Batting four. The third baseman. Max. And now it's Max Muncy. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. That one lifted to left. Naquin trying to get there. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. And he deals. Yeah. That's in there. That's strike one. Hey. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The wind of the pitch. Misses inside off the ball inside. Ball. One ball, one strike. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Martinez has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, that right? Exactly. The third baseman, Lennon Sosa. Lennon Sosa in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a pop-up. Freeman under it. Squeezes it. And that'll do it. Down in order go the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. The wind and the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Counts one and oh. That's inside. Oh, and a pitch. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And they get the out on Smith. 
Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Here's Jason Hayward. And that's a little bit high. 1 and 0. Oh. Second inning here, no score. That one missed. 2 and 0. Oh. Pitch misses there. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Hit hard but foul off to the left. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One gone runner at first. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that one pulled foul. Hayward leads off first with one away. Right-hander kicks, deals. Going to count one and two. And that's ripped for a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And the throws off line, safe at third. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. David Peralta at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Rudders are at the corners, one away. And now it's even up. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That just misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Laser. Base hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, it takes so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runners at the corners here, one away. Miguel Rojas digs in now. There's a strike. And the slider just misses. First and third, one down. Just a slow ground ball this time. Feeds to second, out there. And that's two. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Tyler Naquin to the plate. Lynn back to work. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Check swing, went around. And one and one.
check swing and that's a ball. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Hayward going back, racing back some more. Up against the wall and brings it in. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Trace Thompson batting with one down, takes a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone. A big blow to the home fans. And we're level. It's 1-1. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Now, number 36. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ball. On the inside two. corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Next ball offering two. misses down and away. Next one off the plate inside. And a full count now. Popped up. Betts is on the move. And it drops in. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Here's Elvis Andrews. First nope. offering, and it just misses. That one drifts inside. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Good eye on that spot. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. And a 3-1 on the way. And he takes a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. One down. And up next for Chicago, Zach Remillard. Popped out and foul ground first time through. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Throw comes in quickly, holds that go-ahead run at third, and there's still one away. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big-time swing when this team really needed it. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. 
Andrews on second. Remillard over at first with one away. Next one misses. Ball two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Good hitters count the 2 0. And that's in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Way to lay off that pitch down. At the belt and fires. Ball four. He's walked in a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. So now it's the four hole hitter, Gavin Sheets. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there for strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. The pitch. In the dirt, no advance, good job behind the dish. Fouls it off, still one and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Fights it off. He'll see another. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Nice stop. The throw. Rojas to second to first. Not in time. Great effort there. I promise you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And now up to the plate Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch and he just misses. Next offering is fouled back. Corners are occupied with two down. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two on, two outs. Rips that one to right. Hayward makes the catch. Inning over. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the White Sox three, and the Dodgers one. Back here in L.A., digging in, Mookie Betts. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And a pitch. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Flied out his first time. Going one. 
challenge the count. Ground ball up the middle. In time to Vaughn. And Freeman is retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And Martinez. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Misses inside, and it's a ball to strike. Man, it's second. Line to right, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. He's 0 for 1. And there's a ball. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Two balls, no strikes to count. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next offering is downstairs. Well, knowing that this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, Pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. There's a strike, three and one. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball, 3 1, he'll do it again, 3 2. And that'll load the bases. Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving. And it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time. That one misses. And that is ball one. pitch that one clips the outside corner and a count even one and one check swing no appeal oh this guy's gonna have to slow things down there's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch it was never even close righty delivers that one the other way. They put the tag on him, and that's a double play to end the inning. So they strand a pair. Three innings complete. It's the White Sox three, and the Dodgers one. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Lennon Sosa. The pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And next to hit for the Sox, Tyler Naquin. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. That hits the dirt, and it's 1-0. You know, these White Sox do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Next offering is in for a strike. 
And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Boots it. Good feed. That's one. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. At the play, Trace Thompson. First pitch, just misses. Naquin stands at first with one out. This one in the air right field. Hayward under it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, catcher, Carlos Perez. Number 36 steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And there's the strike. That strike right there. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. The White Sox leave one, and the score stays three to one. Ready to go, bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And a strike on the outside edge. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The one-two. Just missed. It's a good take. The next pitch misses. Full count three and two. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. Hernandez oh. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Oh. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The pitch. Hey. Good eye right there. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Right side. Remillard. Gathers and throws to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. 
Dodgers go down quietly. Score holds. It's 3-1. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Elvis Andrews. And the right hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the outside part of the plate. There's the strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That one hooked foul. The 2 2. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Kicks and fires. And that one clips the corner. And ball one. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. That's off the mark. Two and two. Struck him out looking. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. So up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses the mark. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. And a pop-up right side foul territory. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they still lead it 3-1. Back here at the ballpark, Miguel Rojas at the plate. You got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. To first, one up, one down. Now that the second baseman, Mookie. Now it's Mookie Betts. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Nope. And that one almost got him. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just oh. energizes that entire team. Next pitch is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. The first baseman, number five. Man at first, Freddie, Freddie Freeman steps Freeman. to the plate for the Dodgers. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. 
That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Mookie on the move. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Betts, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That misses the zone. Two and one. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Ripped on a line to center. Thompson makes the catch for the second out. Now battle. So last chance for the Dodgers. And up next for Los Angeles, J.D. Martinez. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. And that one hammered. That's got a chance. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Substitution now at second base. Bench running here, James Outman. Max Muncy at the dish. There's a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next offering misses, and it's one and one. And another ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And it's even up. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.